Hello, church family. Pastor Mary here from Peace Lutheran Church, Springfield, Illinois. This is our midweek devotion where we take a look at the psalm appointed for the coming Sunday. We will continue to use responsive prayer uh, as we go along. So if you have an ELW hymnal at home, you can join us on page 328. Let us begin. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. We pray in the words our Savior taught us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our psalm for today comes is Psalm 69. We will read verses 7 through 10 and 16 through 18. Psalm 69. Surely for your sake I have suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my own kindred, an alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. I humbled myself with fasting, but that was turned to my reproach. Answer me, O Lord, for your love is kind. In your great compassion, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. Be swift and answer me, for I am in distress. Draw near to me and redeem me because of my enemies. Deliver me. Here ends our psalm so folks today marks the fifth anniversary of the killing of nine black individuals that took place during a bible study at mother emmanuel ame church in charleston south carolina on this day the elca and other denominations are holding this day as a, a day of commemoration for the Emmanuel Nine. I wonder how you hear this psalm in light of this day as we commemorate those nine individuals who lost their lives. How do you hear this psalm how might it hear perhaps on the lips of those who were killed that day? How do you hear this psalm in light of the times in which we live? As I've said, I hope that you'll take some time at the end of this and jot notes down to yourself and use those notes as a devotion for the rest of the week. And so we're going to begin, or we're going to continue with a litany of remembrance. The Emmanuel Nine of blessed and eternal memory were nine gifted, loving, and faithful people who spent their lives striving for excellence, connection, and the presence of God, and spent their last moments in study of the Word. They leave a legacy of grace resistance, family, and faith. Gracious God, in remembering their lives and witness 
we are called to a wider understanding of the Spirit's work in the world. They were preachers. Open us to receive the good news of Jesus Christ. They were students. Kindle in us a desire to learn and grow in your ways. They were teachers. Instill in us a passion to share the wisdom of Christ. They were coaches. Accompany us as we strive to run the race set before us. They were mentors. Inspire us through the wise counsel offered by others. They were leaders. Embolden us to seek out the best for others. They were musicians. Attune us to the sounds of your creation. They were poets. Reveal your truth in language we have yet to discover. They were barbers. Shape us as attentive caregivers to those around us. They were custodians. Protect those who work to ensure our safety. They were bus drivers. Carry us as companions in life's unexpected journeys. They were veterans. Remember those who risk harm for the sake of others. They were librarians. Write on our hearts and minds the wisdom of the generations. They were advocates. Call us to speak and act on behalf of those who are silenced. They were public servants. Show us how to love our neighbors as ourselves. They were legislators. Inscribe your laws of love and justice on our hearts. In lives of faithful dedication, your servants, Clementa, Cynthia, Daniel, Depain, Ethel, Myra, Sharonda, Susie, and Taiwanza, lived by your promises, sharing their gifts with those in their families and communities. May we not forget their lives taken too soon. In the years to come, let us share their names and their witness so that the world comes to know of your spirit at work in and through them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And we pray. Save us, O God, from ourselves, from racism often cloaked in pious words, from machinations of white supremacy hidden in calls for civility, from microaggressions thinly veiled in arrogance, from apologies when they don't give way to action, from forgiveness without facing the truth, from recon reconciliation without reparation. Deliver us, O oh God, from expecting siblings of color to continue to bear this emotional work, which is not theirs to do. Grateful for the long arc that bends towards justice, we pray, grant us wisdom, give us courage for the facing of these days, by the power of the Spirit, all for the sake of the kingdom that we share in Christ Jesus. Amen. God's peace, my friends.